An excuse letter without uh, stating kung bakit kayo naka-off ng camera. Okay? Starting from... Our last time's meeting. Okay po. Malinaw. You are considered absent if walang na-present excuse letter. Next. Pakitandaan po ang asset equals liabilities plus owner's equity. So this time, hindi na po positive ang owner's equity. Tama? Kasi mataas yung liabilities. Dapat mas mataas ang asset than the our uh, liabilities. Okay? Dapat palaging mas mataas ang asset than the liabilities para maging positive ang owner's equity. Next, number two. When revenue exceeds expenses, there is net profit. Revenue minus expenses is either net income or net loss. Revenue ex Ayan, thank you. Nalag po. Unstable yung connection. Sige, balik tayo. Thank you, Clark. Portion of the screen. Yeah. Okay po, you may open your genu. Pag may clarifications or corrections, paki-send in private. Okay, this time daw mataas yung revenue. So, higher ang revenue than expenses. Meron bang net profit? Yes. Nagkakaroon lang ng net loss if mas mataas yung expenses. Okay? Again, nagkakaroon lang ng net loss if mataas ang expenses. This time on the statement, mataas daw ang revenue than its expenses. Therefore, there is net profit. The statement is true. Next, the statement of financial condition or financial position daw is the other name for balance sheet. Move natin. Yeah. The latter being an alternative term. So the latter, ito yung pangalawang mention or element na binasa. So ganito palagi ang ating equation kaya siya tinawag na ito yung ating fulcrum. Tama? Liabilities. Dito ang owner's equity. Para maging equal daw or balance ang ating statement. Kailangan laging equal yung amount sa asset sa total ng liabilities at equity. Kailangan lagi siyang balance. Kaya siya tinawag na balance sheet. Okay po. Again, pakitandaan yung ating equation asset equals Liability plus owner's equity. Next, in accounting and legal points of view, an owner of a single proprietorship or sole proprietorship business enterprise is a distinct and separate entity from the business. True. Ayan. May mga nalilito pa rin. Again, pag sole proprietorship, merong business law that protects the owners. Okay. Therefore, meron ng separation and distinction ang owners to the business itself. 
Like the same example, I'm using, pag sinabing distinct and separate, pag dumating yung time or situation na ang owner cannot pay anymore its liabilities or its loan or its debts, the creditor cannot sue the owners anymore. The creditors should sue the business only and not the owners. Kasi nga, merong business law states that separate and distinct na um, ownership ng owner from the business. Okay. Next. To persuade the investor to invest money in a particular company or entity, relevant and reliable accounting information is required. So, palagi naman dapat ang presentation ng information or data should be relevant, reliable, and accurate. Okay. Okay, let's go to the identification naman. Okay. Anyone who knows Tony Tan Kak Chong? Anyone? Wala. So, Tony Tan Kak Chong is the famous, the well-known business tycoon of your favorite, our favorite fast food chain, Jollibee. Yan. Si Tony Tan Kak Chong ang founder, owner, chairman ng Jollibee Food Corporation. Yan. Si Tony Tan Kak Chong. So for this example daw, he buys tickets to his children at 3,000 pesos per person. So therefore, yung term na uh, buys tickets to his children, walang relation ang children to the business. Therefore, this transaction or this event is considered personal. We will not include this one sa ating journals, we will not use this one as our entry sa ating accounting books. Okay? Hindi siya nire-record. Next, Edmundo Cruz, the sole proprietorship of an appliance repair shop, pays for the light and water bills of the business. So, light and water, again, also known as Utilities expense in accounting. So therefore, kapag nagbabayad ng utilities or expenses, any expenses ang business, it is it will affect the business operation. Therefore, it is a business transaction. Next, number three, the tuition fees of the children ni Tony Tan Kak Chong are paid by him from his personal funds. Hindi po. Therefore, it is personal transaction. Ayan, tuition fee. Walang effect or impact ang pagbayad ni Tony Tan Kak Chong ng kanyang uh, tuition fees ng kanyang mga anak. Next, the mayor's permit to operate the business and other licenses are paid. Business transaction. This is under the name um, taxes and licenses. Tama? Taxes and licenses. Permits and licenses. Pwede din. Taxes and licenses. Ito po yung term. Kapag nag-record ng expenses ng mayor's permit, or other payments ng licenses. Taxes and licenses expense. Therefore, it is a business transaction. And Tony Tan Kak Chon makes an additional investment. Yes, it has an impact sa uh, business operation. 
It's either additional investment or initial investment. Yan. It adds up to the total amounts ng uh, money in the business. Ayan. So far, meron na bang corrections? Wala pa. Meron na. Sige po. Pakisend na lang later. And then, this part, uh, you have to identify under what major account yung mga titles or accounts na ito. So, furniture and fixtures are under asset account. Ayan. So far, 61.54% got it correct. Okay. Okay. Asset, furniture, and fixtures. Again, those na mga um, i-improve -i ng work, workplace, ng uh, work area, or parang receiving area para sa customers. Nakatulad ng mga aircons, um, purifiers, yeah, sofas, nice. tables. Those are furniture and fixtures. Those are oh. assets. Next, prepaid expenses. Ayan, maraming nalito. 50%. Bakit? Ayan, deceiving ang term na expenses dito. Again, ito lang po ang nag-iisang asset account na mayroong expense sa kanyang title. Okay, example. Diba? Prepaid. Prepaid rent. Ayan, yung mga prepaid load nyo. Prepaid insurance. Although, hindi pa nangyayari yung event. Hindi pa nangyayari yung um, let's say an accident. Example. Diba? You have to pay ahead of time yung mga insurance policies. Diba? Kailangan siya bayaran ahead of time. Kaya siya tinawag na prepaid. Therefore, pag sinabing prepaid, these are under assets. Pag may nakikita kayong prepaid, asset yan, prepaid, binabayaran siya ahead of time. Even hindi pa nangyayari ang isang event. Prepaid. Next. Salaries and wages, these are expenses by the business. Mga pasweldo, mga sahod ng empleyado, mga um, factory workers, these are on the point of view ng business are expenses. Salary, salaries and wages expense. So, ano ba yung difference ng salaries and wages? Bakit siya sinort pa? Bakit pa hiniwalay salaries and wages? Ang um, salaries are paid regularly. So, let's say per month ang payment. Okay. Regular employees. Wages ang tawag para sa mga rately, um, per rate, per hour rate na mga workers o trabado. Ayan, wages. Let's say per hour ang bayad sa kanila per hour. So, wage earner ka kapag per hour. Kapag per month ang bayad sa'yo, regardless of your absences, monthly ka nakaka-receive ng payment. Whereas kapag wages, uh, babayaran ka lang, ka lang on the day ng iyong naipasok sa uh, trabaho. Ganun lang siya. Per, pwede siyang per hour. Ganun lang ang rate. Rating, pag wages. Yan yung difference. Okay, expenses po yun. Next, loans payable. Ito yung term naman under liability. These are obligations. You have to pay. Kaya siya payable. Okay, loans payable. These are obligations. Ito yung mga terms na may payable. These are liabilities. Katulad ng loans payable, accounts payable, um, supplies payable, those are all liabilities. This one, drawing. Again, when you say drawing, these are withdrawals by the owner sa kanyang shinere sa business. 
let's say gusto niyang mag-withdraw a certain amount ng pera sa business, not on his personal fund, yan, the owner may withdraw a certain amount under equity. So, dalawa lang naman yung equity title natin eh. Drawing and investment. Investment which is capital. Owner drawing and owner capital. Next. Merchandise inventory. These are assets. Di ba yung nasa mga shelves? Ayan na mga products or goods na ready to be sold. Ayan. Yung mga nakadisplay na mga products. Ayan. Those are merchandise inventory. Yung mga stocks. Mga remaining products na hindi pa naibibenta. This, those are assets. Bad debts. What are bad debts? Also known as mga doubtful. Doubtful debts or doubtful accounts. So, ito yung mga um, accounts or mga amount na hindi na kaya bayaran ng mga customers or clients. Let's say, um, uh, the, a certain client cannot pay anymore the, his balance or his remaining amount na hindi unpaid. Ayan. Um, due to hindi niya na kaya bayaran due to finances, due to um, uh, dispute. Diba? Hindi siya agree na ganito yung babayaran niya or mayroong interest na kailangan na na-add up sa kanyang babayaran. So, ayaw niya na bayaran. It is considered bad debts. Uh, expenses ito ng mga businesses. Pag hindi na nagbabayad yung customer or client. Okay. Land. Ayan. 88.46%. These are assets. Land. So, kinukuha yung total value or worth ng um, asset and then ina-adapt yan sa amount. Under asset. Unearned revenue. Ano ba yung unearned revenue? So, these are liabilities. Let's say Globe and Smart Telecoms. They provided mga good and quality service sa kanyang mga clients. So, in return, tayo naman. So, nag expect tayo ng magandang quality from them. Um, it will turn or convert into, in the future, as their revenue. Kasi we patronize their products. We patronize the, the, uh, the corporation or the business, di ba? So, sooner or later, it will turn into unearned revenue under liability. Siyempre, as their clients, they have the liability to produce or to give mga good and quality service sa ating mga uh, customers. Diba? We expect from them. So, in return, they, they should have the liability to, to give us mga magagandang good or a quality service. And last one, investment. So when we say investment, these are assets, katulad ng cash. Ayan, mga furnitures and fixtures, these are assets. Furnitures and fixtures. Um, mga receivables, those are investments. The equity will also be affected by that. Pero when we say investment, these are mga assets. Okay, we will end the uh, discussion for today. We will, we will have your review on Monday in preparation for your first quarterly exam. Pero ang schedule pa naman, I think, uh, Saturday pa ang schedule. Mama, na meron na kayong copy ng schedule, wala pa ng first quarterly exam. Wala pa. Ayan. Pwede ako mag-send sa GC natin.
Kung sino makita. Pwede naman. Okay. 